Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Man United Inside again. Please subscribe and turn on notification for more Manchester United updates. This is Old Trafford where the excitement is reaching fever pitch. Is it time for Manchester United to reclaim their glory days under the iron-fisted rule of Sir Alex Ferguson? Picture this. Manchester United, a club steeped in history and tradition, once dominated the footballing world under the legendary Sir Alex Ferguson. But in recent years, the glory days seem like a distant memory. Club's ethos has shifted, with sentiments of loyalty and ambition giving way to complacency and inconsistency. Enter Sergio Reguilón, the talented Spanish defender who shed tears of frustration after a devastating defeat. His emotional reaction served as a stark reminder of the passion and intensity that once defined Manchester United. Yet, amidst the turmoil, questions linger. Can United reclaim their former glory? And what role will Ferguson's ruthless rule play in the club's resurgence? For years, Ferguson's iron-fisted leadership propelled United to unprecedented success. He instilled a winning mentality that permeated every aspect of the club, from the boardroom to the training ground. Players knew that under Ferguson's guidance, anything less than excellence was unacceptable. But somewhere along the way, United lost their way. The club became a shadow of its former self, plagued by inconsistency and underachievement. The departure of Ferguson left a void that has yet to be filled, with subsequent managers struggling to replicate his unparalleled success. Now, as United stands at a crossroads, the time has come to embrace change. The club must once again embrace Ferguson's ruthless rule, casting aside sentimentality in favor of ambition. Players like Anthony Martial, once heralded as the future of United, must prove themselves worthy of the badge or face the consequences. But the path to redemption will not be easy. It will require courage, determination, and a willingness to confront uncomfortable truths. Yet, if United can summon the spirit of their glory days and embrace Ferguson's uncompromising ethos, there is no limit to what they can achieve. Again and again. According to the latest reports from HITC, Borussia Dortmund won't be making a permanent move to re-sign Jadon Sancho this summer. However, they could consider another loan deal for the ousted Manchester United and England winger. Sancho, aged 23, made a return to Germany in January after a fallout with manager Eric Ten Hag. Despite not scoring in seven matches during his second stint at Dortmund, he has managed to provide two assists. With uncertainty surrounding his future, it seems unlikely that Sancho will find his way back into the fold at Old Trafford if Ten Hag remains as manager. As it stands, United are open to selling the player, but Dortmund seems interested only in another loan arrangement. Sancho still has two years remaining on his contract with United, and talks between the clubs are reportedly scheduled in the upcoming weeks. Since the public exchange with Ten Hag, Sancho has been excluded from first-team activities at Carrington and hasn't played for United since August. In other news, the Mirror reports Everton's interest in Hull City defender Jacob Greaves as a potential replacement for Jared Brathwaite, who is linked with a move to Manchester United. Tottenham is also keeping tabs on Brathwaite, and Everton is preparing for his potential departure. Additionally, Crystal Palace is bracing for the potential departure of Mark Guehi in the summer, with Manchester United and other Premier League U giants closely monitoring the situation. Guehi, who joined Palace from Chelsea in 2021 for 18 million, has emerged as one of the brightest defenders in the league U, amassing 108 appearances for the Eagles. Interest in Guehi has surged from clubs like United and Liverpool, with Tottenham and Arsenal also expressing previous interest. The Eagles have begun compiling a list of potential replacements for the England international, signaling the likelihood of his departure. With only two years left on his contract, this summer presents Palace with a crucial opportunity to command a significant transfer fee for Guehi. Valued at more than the club record 50 million United paid for Aaron Bissaka in 2019, Guehi is a highly sought-after asset. 
United, in particular, are eyeing defensive reinforcements after a challenging season. However, their pursuit of Guayhi could hinge on the appointment of sporting director Dan Ashworth, whose contract with Newcastle restricts him from joining another team until 2026, unless United are willing to pay a compensation fee. Again and again, the former Manchester United sensation may soon find himself back on the international stage as Jamaica's head coach expresses keen interest in having him join the squad. Despite having only made a solitary senior appearance for England, Greenwood is eligible to represent Jamaica due to his heritage from his mother's side. FIFA rules allow him to switch national teams since his England appearances are fewer than three. Expressing his desire to see Greenwood donning the Jamaican colors, head coach Hymir Halgrimson shared his thoughts, stating, I would love to have him in my team. Like all coaches, I would like to have the best players in our team, but it's always up to the player himself if he wants to do it. However, Greenwood is reportedly eager to resurrect his England career, having made his debut at just 18 years old during a match against Iceland in 2020. His international journey hit a roadblock when he and teammate Phil Foden were sent home after breaching COVID rules by bringing unauthorized guests into the team hotel. Since then, Greenwood hasn't featured for England. Despite his desire for an England return, Greenwood's future remains uncertain. Following his departure from Manchester United last September, where he was loaned to La Liga club Getafe after charges against him were drop it, he currently resides in Madrid with his partner Harriet and their daughter Summer. Reports suggest a potential move to Barcelona may be on the cards. As Greenwood navigates his path forward, the allure of representing Jamaica on the international stage adds a new dimension to his career trajectory, with both personal and professional factors weighing into his decision-making process. Additionally, Manchester United are emerging as one of the favorites to sign Victor Osim Hen this summer, according to reports. The Napoli star, 25, is set to be on the market with his contract including a release clause worth around £94 million. Of pounds. Manchester United are set for a big summer ahead, following the arrival of Sir Jim Ratcliffe as partial owner. The Red Devils are eager to become more forward-thinking with their transfer strategy. According to The Independent, Osimhen will be seen as an ideal signing by United Chiefs due to his age and adaptability. Should the Red Devils bring the Nigerian to Old Trafford, Osimhen will provide a different option to Rasmus Hodgland up top, where United currently lack depth. Anthony Martial is set to leave on a free transfer, while Marcus Rashford feels more at home on the left flank. Osimhen will have two years remaining on his Napoli contract come the summer, 